enemies give a small amount of super energy and you get more super energy for having more of those kinds of weapons equipped. We're going to have plenty to discuss as far as weapon rolls go in uh, Final Shape when that is out, so stay locked here for that. Next, we have Elemental Charge mods being significantly discounted. Usually, the cost of mods isn't the main limitation in build crafting. It, it tends to be how many mods you can equip. I'm sure this is still going to make some kind of an impact somewhere, though. Saints Inspiration. Rounds loaded by the Cast No Shadows Origin trait can overflow the magazine. Overflowing the magazine of a weapon... For dual thought, very, does it have to be a full clear? Powerful effect as we've seen, depending yeah. on the weapon, you know, not as impactful on, like, an auto rifle compared to a rocket launcher or a GL or something like that. Since um, it's so impossible to kill King, King's Fall deal. Uh, essentially makes any weapons with dealer's impossible. choice have Firefly built in, it looks like. At least the explosion. Uh, with more weapons being equipped, increasing the size of this explosion. Bungie really trying to make people use these weapons next season. Uh, more super energy. Beer explosions. All right, we'll see. So now we're gonna move into the third column. We're getting a little more juiced, a little more uh, heftier mods, starting with Elemental Siphon. Rapid kills with a kinetic weapon or a weapon matching your super's element. Create an elemental pickup that matches your super. I think this might be kind of a sleeper mod, a sleeper pick. There are multiple fragments that deal with elemental pickups for Prismatic, or just like any subclass in general. And as I covered, I think Prismatic has an insane amount of potential. This is going to be another way to speed your way to Transcendence activations. So it would not surprise me if something like this maybe reads a little bit boring, but ends up being actually quite, quite good in uh, selection. Next, we got Overload Sword. We kind of covered that. It's also overcharged when that modifier is active. It's going. The perks that we're going to be talking about as well. Up. Creeping Chill Stasis Weapon Final Blows against slowed or frozen targets. Release a burst that slows. This just sounds like incandescent, but for stasis, which sounds pretty nice to me. Sounds pretty interesting. It maybe wouldn't even surprise me if this could potentially become a perk sometime mm -hmm. in the future. Like, just, you know, we have incandescent, which is basically incandescent. I don't know, crazy? This seems pretty good, you know? And we are getting a bit of, a, I don't want to say stasis rework, but some things in stasis are, you know, being brought up to more of like a 3.0 level as opposed to like a, you know, a 2.47 level that they might be at right now. So, I'm gonna keep eyes, I'm gonna keep eyes. Press the advantage. Breaking a combatant's shield gives a bunch of stats. Weapon stability, handling, reload speed, swords, gain, increased guard resistance. Uh, for PvE, I'm feeling like this is kind of, kind of a non-factor. Kind, of, kind of like a, a, a whole... Sorry, uh, no, he's not. Uh, he's pretty, pretty fast. He's so pretty, pretty fast on this one, I guess. Really, really crazy. I don't see this getting a ton of attention uh, for PvE. So I think we're just going to keep moving on. Threaded Blast is coming back, destroying a tank with a strand weapon creates a larger and more damaging explosion. I enjoyed the perk with this round, and the better devils returning as a strand weapon. You have a shiny new strand primary weapon to play around with, so uh, this will not be terribly difficult to activate if you want to Next, column four, counter energy. When you or a member of your fire team stuns a champion, you gain energy for your least charged Next. ability. I think the energy needs to be pretty substantial for me to care about this, but my guess is that it'll be a decent amount at the least. It wouldn't surprise me if this was something where uh, it would give you a full recharge on an ability. I can see this maybe getting out of hand a little bit in endgame content. It's not like champions are literally everywhere, um, but they're common enough in certain endgame pieces of content that uh, this, it, has, it has some potential. But I also think there's a lot of other things here that might push this out of the line. Next up, we have Blade Stop Stamina on. rapidly Stop defeating on. combatants with a sword where funds some ammo. Uh, pretty much a lock if you're using a sword in almost any amount, but without more information. It just sounds like Melendez Strikes, but a little bit weaker because it kills. It all depends on the ammo refund, but, you know, if you're using a sword, 
you're probably picking up all the sword mods. And if you're not, then you're not. Like, that, that's just kind of what it is. Yeah, tireless. Next up, we have three mods that all deal with uh, doing something to get some sort of a subclass effect. Void Hegemony, you have a uh, it's going to be... Uh, bottom left, can you kill the knight? I can't, I'm torn. He's in the middle. Maybe not the stone cold lock of the century of the week that Void is really looking for. I think Overshields and PvE, not really the most exciting, not really the most powerful of the subclass. I'm open to being surprised. However, we go to then Radiant Orbs. It's coming back. Picking up an orb of power makes you radiant if you have solar or prismatic equipped. Not quite the ridiculousness of the old version, which had and no bombs, right? restriction at all, but still an insanely strong effect for what amounts to very little work compared to its void counterpart. Mm. Next we have Galvanic Armor, uh, and this is the arc version and of the arc the series here. While arc or prismatic, incoming damage from combatants is reduced while... I could try to make it to the tops, but I don't know. trying out some kind of damage resist thing for arc subclasses. It's not super hard to get amplified I'll go top left of or top right. Mainstream arc builds and arc kind of has a like all right going alive problem, uh, at least in higher difficulty content. So if it's anything on par with maybe like frost armor or woven mail, I could see arc starting to make a, a small push into the limelight again, even more end game pieces because it. It, it, it needs something to keep it in there. If you're on Prismatic, it's totally possible to get all three of these perks rolling at once, so stacking all of them could be pretty interesting to see. Prismatic is still why I want to see the buff UI expanded even more to show more buffs, because otherwise it's just going to get taken up by all of these different subclass buffs that you're going to have pretty much all the time. I got finders and scouts on. Probably get some. There's a brick over here in the back right, but I don't know if that's scouted or not. Working on it. Oh, bottom left to top left. Um, gotta be quick. Going bottom right, going bottom left. Oh, why the fuck? We'll see. We can just detonate two for this one. Got it. Bottom right going. Bottom left. We're slamming. I'm just gonna hop in this bomb. I'm gonna wait a little bit, but I'm hopping in this one. I mean, we'll just have to try and cook them one the next. We got two there, so it's not horrible. Thank you. 
Let's find. There's a shade. Fuck your pants. I got a lot for me. I'll probably just drop a couple on the uh, the knights here. I'm gonna save mine. Or, I don't know, we'll see. He says top bombs. Got it. Start whenever. To your side. This L star, to be honest. Not in it. Uh, Going top left. Going bottom right. Going top left, top left. Alright, you said top bombs? Top left. Don't worry, you just walk to me. I mean, we have four bombs, so no need to use any extra. Alright, I'm gonna see if I can get my uh, MBS here. Want oh, me to detonate you? Not too hard. Oh, 